What's up guys, um, it's boy Brazilian Dog 10 here, and I got another review for you, as you can see there's the laser on, yep, you guessed it, my wireless mouse. Now, I think I made an unboxing video, but I don't think I put it up because it wasn't that great. So, I'll do like a little rundown of everything it has on it. It's got a nice, and guys, I'm sorry because like, I got about a foot from my wall to my camera, so whatever. Okay, um, it's got a nice design. It's got a, it's slanted in right there for your thumb, or if you're left handed, you know, it has a slanted for your left thumb or your right thumb. And it's, uh, got nice, like, fingers for s supports back here. Like, it just, it feels nice on my hand, even though I'm a 13 year old kid. My hand's about, I don't know, 5 inches, 7 inches. Well, I don't, who cares? But it just, it feels good in my hand, so. It's basically made for a younger person, I guess. Or a little hand. Um, it's got one, it's got one, two. Um, click is three. Up and down is, like, I guess, four and five. And then it's got this little button right here. This little, like, back arrow button. And then, those are all the buttons. It does not have a side scroll, which is okay. Because I don't really use side scroll at all. But now on the bottom you got your little, you know, laser here and you got your reconnect button there and your power button here. So if you like, whoa, whoa, that was not cool. I totally hit the camera and it like fell. That was not cool at all. Um, as you heard, my computer just went down and, but that's the USB right there. And as you can see, it fits right into here. And then when that little button goes in, it turns off. But I keep it in all the time because it takes up like no battery. So let me just pull this out here and put this back in my computer. Alright, and right there you heard did it, and that means it's running. So, right now, um, I will give you a little preview of what this looks like when it's um, actually working. Hey guys, I'm back. Um, as you can see, I have my mouse in my right hand, and I'm recording with my left. Let me turn on the light here, see if it looks any better. Uh, you can see the light right there, so I'll turn that off. Okay, I'm, when, I, when I'm down here in my hand, I'll turn it on. Alright, so, yeah guys, I mean, it fits really good on my hand. I mean, I got this little, like, cheap thing, and it's, uh, you know, it works pretty good. But I got my mouse pad here, and it works better when it's on a mouse pad because, I don't know, I mean, this is wood. It's it's still working, as you can see. It's still going everywhere I go, but it just feels a lot better on a mouse pad. Alright, let me turn the screen on a little bit here so I can see it. Alright, so, yeah, so let's let's show you guys what the buttons do. As you guys know, that the uh, right button, you know, clicks. So, you know, that's not going to do anything because I'm not on anything, but I will show you guys. Um, alright, so, as you guys can see here, right button works, and, yeah, so let me exit that out, and then left button, of course, where's my mouse, right there, left button works very well. Now, this is the thing I did not know until, like, about 20 minutes ago, that's why I'm making this video. Um, the actual, the third button I showed you guys before, the, the scroll button click, it actually does the same thing as this, but when you if you first get this mouse, which it is the um, Microsoft Wireless Mobile Mouse 3000. Sorry, it's right there. I don't know. I don't. Th I think my left hand's too shaky to let it clear up. But whatever. Um, but when you first get this mouse out of the box and you install the stuff, you know, um, if you click this button, it'll go back in the web page browser. Like anything like that, you know, go back a web page. But I got, I downloaded the uh, software for it, and then that lets me customize my buttons. 
So this would usually go back a page in the internet browser, but I changed it to do this. Bring up everything I'm running so I can do a quick access. But you're thinking, so you said something works on the scroll button. So yeah, let me just open up uh, iTunes here. Minimize that. All right, yeah. So so you saw what happened with that button right there. But check out this button. When I click it in, it does the same exact thing. And I didn't change that. So I am actually going to show you guys how you can customize your thing. You have to go on the stop. You have to go on the package, get the download um, website or whatever. And then you come to this, and then it says left button, right button, wheel button, and then other button. So that's Instant Viewer. I don't know what Flip 3D, I guess that is the same thing as Instant Viewer. So I'll just, uh, I'll change this button to, uh, let's see here. Nothing really I really need, but I'll do it to... I guess I guess I could disable it or just make it a click. But I'll do it as a um do it as a paste. So I'll apply it. So I'll go into um YouTube. I'll just highlight this, copy, go to here, type in Word, because I like the WordPad better rather than Microsoft. And then I will show you guys, I will just click this button and see if it works. And it does, right there. I'm keep gonna keep clicking it, and it's just gonna keep pasting and pasting. Oh, pasting, 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 yeah. So yeah, that works, guys. So all those buttons, you know, they have their, they have their own little thing. So thanks for watching, guys, and we'll see you later. Ace Hoops!